So the next most important part of the design is the side profile of the vehicle. So what is the windshield angle? Where's the A pillar, B pillar, and the back of the cab gonna be? And does it look right? Does it look like a truck? And so I actually imported in an image into the sketch of a modern crew cab truck, just to make sure I had all the proportions correct. Because the last thing I wanna do is get to the end of this design and all the suspension is exactly how I want it. And the cage is really strong, but it just, it looks, if it looked goofy or if I didn't like the way it looked, that'd be a gigantic waste of time. But the side profile of the truck ended up looking somewhat reasonable compared to modern vehicles. I know trophy trucks are a totally different shape and scale than normal trucks, but especially something like this, it's everything's bigger than it needs to be to accommodate those tires, but I still wanted it to look right. And the tricky thing about a trophy truck chassis is that you have all this tube work in the center of the vehicle around the cabin and you have all this wheel travel in the rear in the solid axle and then way behind at the end of the vehicle behind the solid axle are the spare tires in the fuel tank and so you have to figure out a way to build a bridge between the cabin and those spare tires in a way that's going to allow clearance for that solid axle and what ends up happening is you have this box hanging off of the back of the vehicle that needs to be tied up and over to the center of the vehicle and it can be sort of tricky to get those dimensions right and make sure everything's going to be strong enough but i think i ended up coming up with a decent solution for this so now on the rear part of the chassis i need to build a bridge between the main cabin the engine mount and the rear spare tires and that bridge is going to allow for clearance for up travel in the rear solid axle so i'm just using a, a set of arcs here to keep sort of a truck looking profile where the bed of the truck is where the engine lives and there's plenty of tube work to tie the spare tire carriers to the rest of the chassis and this is really the only part of the chassis that i used crazy bent tubes the rest of it is sort of just boxed in in a traditional sense because if you remember on the ultra four design that tube work was stylized because there's no body work so the tube is the most prominent aspect of the vehicle. And I wanted the chassis to be sort of a piece of art. Whereas on this one, I want the structure to be there, as simple to fabricate as possible. And then the bodywork will take care of the stylistic element of the design. 